It's Joe. Welcome to the Quilt Report. Uh, um, it has occurred to me that sometimes my life runs in a different way than a lot of people's lives do. Uh, a lot of quilt makers' lives do. Uh, this quilt's a good example. I wanted to make something called Joe's Tears, which is a cute little four-star pattern, four-pointed star pattern that I uh, 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 didn't like. I wanted it to be a lot more dramatic of, a, of an image. And so uh, about that time when I was thinking about making this quilt, I got a call from a guy at the set painting department of the Chicago Lyric Opera, who said, Joe, we get paint spattered all over our clothes, and it reminds us of you. Would you like some of our paint spattered clothing? And I said, yeah, I sure would. So they sent me a bunch of it. About the same time, uh, a, a painter that I know gave me some of his paint spattered blue jeans. He said, I was thinking about you, so I saved these. Uh, and his wife also gave me some old paint spattered clothes. Uh, and my great friend John Carden sent me some dramatic fabric that he had hand dyed and printed from uh, 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 Rhode Island. Here I am in the office, uh, the uh, pod office, where uh, I have this quilt show up. People are coming in, it's a busy office. Let me just show you up close. You can see the quilting design is that little four-pointed star broken up into a crystalline structure, paint-spattered clothing to convey the dramatic story of Job being tortured, and then people coming in to the office to look at the quilts, people trying to work while I'm talking, See, it's a different life. Thanks for checking in. See you later.